Now, let us proceed to self-build. Okay, so for self-build, it's only applied for certain scenario, lah, like payment to agents, dealer and distributor, goods sold or service rendered by foreign seller, means import. Lah. Okay, import from foreign seller, profit distribution, okay, e-commerce transaction. Okay, later on, we have the sample, which is the e-commerce transaction that Shopee, Lazada, and TikTok will do self-build for you, okay, for your company. So you don't need to submit e-invoice for them, okay? And then pay out to all betting and gaming winners, okay, buying goods or service from individual taxpayer, okay, like this one or rental, lah, okay, rental from the individual owner, okay, interest payment, okay, claim compensation or benefit payments from the insurance business of an insurer. Okay, so there is a new function which is called self-build. Okay, so our self-build also have the approval workflow function. So actually for self-build, for local supplier that you issue self-build, you need to share the document to them. But for the foreign supplier, you don't need to issue the e-invoice to them. Only the local require the self-build e-invoice. Okay, means for foreign, you issue the invoice but don't need to share to the foreign supplier lah. Okay. Okay, so now I want I will show you how to do the rental. Okay, business tenants have to issue staff bill e invoice on rental and utility bills if landlord does not contact business. So landlord is an individual, so she will not issue e invoice to me. So I need to give staff bill to her. Okay, so I need to staff bill her on rental and utilities because the utilities is um uh, on her name. Okay, on the owner name. Okay, so rental is self-built others. Utilities also self-built others. So normally, in your current practice, you will do like this, right? Okay, you will do payment voucher. Okay, so let's say you want to pay for the owner. I want to pay for the rental first. Okay, so for rental, here has a new function, which is you can choose the tax entity here. So let's say, this is the tax entity lah. Okay, it should be individual lah, but I want to send to this team number. So this one is payment on rental. So payment method, I pay by bank, 200. This one I put on rental. Okay. So this one I pay to this owner or uh, rental. Okay. And then save. So another one I pay to TNB. This one is payment on utilities. Should. Okay, and then I choose bank, water and electricity, 50. Okay, then I save. So, I uh, make two payment voucher lah, okay, for these two. And then, uh, I go to e-invoice, okay, and then self-build, new. Okay, so for this self build, you can copy from uh, cash book entry, credit note, purchase invoice, cash purchase, purchase return, AP invoice, AP debit note, AP credit note. So just now I put at cash book entry then. So you copy from cash book entry, search. So I search just now is PV 36 and 37 lah. These two. Payment for June. These two are. Then you click OK. So here, I need. Uh, to choose lah, normal copy, copy all selected document details into current self-build. Means I want to copy two cash book into one self-build. Okay. So this one I build on 036 others. This one also 036 others. Okay. And then, so this one, make sure the name of the supplier is the individual owner lah. Okay, this one is my sample. Okay, but for you, you need to put your in your honor team, okay, which is indi individual, okay, and then 
this is how you want to stuff bill both the rental and utilities to this owner. Okay, then you click approve. Ending. You can show individual owner sample. Okay, voila, I show. This one, I mean, sementara dia tunggu untuk valid, I show you the adapter. So this is the sample. Okay, so this owner is individual. Okay, doesn't provide tin. I just use his my card. Okay, put the name, phone. Okay, sorry, the phone it should be plus six, ah. Should be plus six. Email address, postcode, city state, and country. Okay, if owner does give the tin, can we use an RIC? Yes, you can use like this lah because system will put a uh, general tin if you put blank. Okay, but if you still want to put his tin, you can search here lah to retrieve his tin at the uh, my invoice portal. Okay. So let's go back to the subtle document. Now it's already valid. Okay. So when valid, if you want to share for your owner, the survey will look like this. Okay. The company name. Is your the heading is your company name? The name is Sabil Invoice. Here is your owner details, lah. Okay, and then got the validated link. Okay. Okay. If they have three owner, you need to Sabil to each owner, lah. Okay. So for importation of service, okay. When do you need to issue the Sabil e invoice? You need to check when is your payment date. Okay, and then if you receive invoice first. When is your invoice date? And then the the due date is one month after. Okay? The invoice date or the payment date. Okay? So let's say you want importation of service. Normally, your supplier will give you an invoice scan. So you will issue purchase invoice. So issue purchase invoice. <laughs> So let's say this one is your supplier and then you purchase of service lah. Okay. So if for service. Okay. Let's say this one. Save. Okay. So uh, actually dekat cash book tadi pun you boleh right click and copy to self bill. Okay, here at purchase invoice, also you can copy to new self bill. Just now at the cash book, I didn't use this method because I want to copy two documents in one self bill. But if you just want to copy one self bill, you can use this method lah. Copy to a new self bill, then it will open a new self bill entry. So here is your UST customer details. Okay, so here you need to put importation of service. And then approve. So you go to e-invoice, self bill. So here is already valid lah. So you can preview. So this one is same also lah. Individual not conduct business. You need to do sub bill. Okay. So let's say you do purchase invoice also. <coughs> or you use payment voucher also can lah. Uh, because they didn't give you invoice kan. So you use payment voucher. Like this one. Uh, payment on teddy bear. Okay. If you just use a payment voucher and then you can issue the self bill. Mm. Mm. Okay. Because this owner did not conduct any uh, business. Okay. So for importation of goods, okay, you need to include the K1 form. Okay. The K1 number lah. Okay, so when to issue the sub bill for importation of goods, you need to check when is the custom clearance date. Okay, so if the custom clearance date is 29 June, so you have, uh, this one is old one, the latest one, you have two months, okay, to issue the sub bill. Okay, so here have the column for you to issue the K1 form. Okay, so let's say this one, I got invoice from USD supplier, okay. I purchased import goods from him. Okay. And then save. 
So when want to issue the self bill, let's say this one I right click here, copy to new self build. Okay, so make sure this one is 034, importation of goods. And then here you need to go to the initial tab. <laughs> you need to fill up the K1 form. Okay. And then you click approve. So this is how to do the, for the importation of goods. Lah. Okay, I proceed. Uh. Okay, if you want for payment to agents, okay, I will uh, also recommend you to do the payment voucher. Lah, okay, so let's say you payment for your agent. Okay, also this payment of the commission, you also can copy to the self build. Okay, because for payment to agent, you also need to do self build for your agent. Even though you pay for your agent, you need to do self build for them, not your agent give you e-invoice. You need to give them self build e-invoice. So, I will recommend you e-commerce voila so you go to cash book entry new payment voucher so here you choose your agent name so this is my sample lah. okay so you put here payment on agent bank so maybe this one is on commission okay, I just put lah. commission and then you pay for for you will get for this agent okay and then when you create a payment voucher same also you copy to new self build okay but this one you change to others lah payment on agent hey eh, sorry sorry uh 037 monetary payment to agents dealer or distributor okay 037 and then you click approve so this payment to agent you need to share this self build to your agent <coughs> okay so another sample is for e-commerce transaction. So if you have, uh, if you are a supplier for e-commerce platform, you don't need to issue e-invoice for them because this e-commerce platform will do self bill for you. Okay. So let's say this supplier they sell item to Zipit. Okay, Shopee, Lazada, or TikTok lah. Okay, and then this Zipit will do self bill to this supplier. Okay. So, how you want to handle in auto account for this um, Shopee, Lazada, TikTok, you need to make sure you untick submit e-invoice. But now, have a new function, which is for this supplier. Let's say I have supply. Uh, sorry. I sell to Lazada. Okay. And then this Lazada, it have a new uh, column here. Do not submit e-invoice. So, you tick here. So every time you issue invoice for TikTok, Shopee, Lazada, it will not submit as e-invoice. Okay. Okay. So it will submit uh, a normal invoice. You see here, it didn't take for submit e-invoice. So this is how you handle for e-commerce platform. Lah. Okay.